Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! It's me, Cooper, and today we are going to be going around and beating up people, but not in class because we don't go to the class anymore. Yeah, we're going to go around and beat up people because we need money, because my normal deck needs a lot of buffs. It's not terrible right now, but obviously you guys are used to stronger decks, so I need this to step it up a notch. Just a small notch. Nobody goes to the cliff, I don't know why. I have no clue why. The cliff is such a nice place, and yet no one goes. Maybe they're ditching at school at the dual field. Maybe that's a possibility. Let's see if anybody's ditching in here. No one. Really? Nobody left class just to come over here? Not, not a single soul. Not a single soul. Nobody ditched today's class for some reason. I am really surprised. I, I'm honestly impressed with everyone's... Uh, I don't know, dedication. Let's go to the abandoned dorm. Somebody's got to be here. There's got to be somebody. The game can't just stop spawning people. That would that would be insanity. Right? I'm starting to get worried. Where is everybody? What 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 do you mean there was an assembly called? What do you mean there's been a murder? <laughs> oh my god, it's starting to feel that way, isn't it? Okay. Is Rizo okay? He's probably not okay. Uh, nobody is around. The most populated area is probably the Slifer Red Dorm. There's no way there's zero people here. I, uh, I know that for a fact. Where is everybody? Over here? Where is- Okay, well, there's Chairman, but she doesn't count as a person. Um, there they are. Oh, Mindy is actually teaming up with Jasmine for once. You know what? That actually seems like a fun combo. I, I can't believe it took this long for you guys to tag team. Yeah, let's fight Mindy Jasmine. That should be fun. What happened there? I have no clue what happened. It literally took forever to find anybody on the map. I had to go to the most populated place in the game, and they still didn't have anybody until I went inside a sub, or a sub room. So we're going to keep using our fake moon deck for now. I'm enjoying it. I do like ritual decks here and there, and this one's pretty fun to use. Now, he started with three malicious! Oh, you know what? I'm gonna put my hand on top of my deck. I surrender. Triple malicious? That's just... That's just wrong, man. She's gonna pop all your back row. Oh, thank God. Alright, you lost your card no matter what. Triple malicious, no draw power, no chance. I have to be the one to do everything. Ah, uh, advanced ritual art. I just need the ritual monster. Luster dragon's decently safe. I could also go freaking strong. She has traps, so I have to assume I will die. I could play mage power to bait out a trap card. Let's see if it works. Yeah, there we go. We knew it was going to happen eventually, but we needed we needed to be sure. I shouldn't have said advanced ritual art. Um, I should have played Mage Power first to bait out the trap. Doesn't matter. Let's call it the Haunted. There's no way they have two traps that can stop us. And let's just bring back Luster Dragon as they are the only card we can, you know, rely on. And then we're going to battle for 1900 damage. Now, Aster Phoenix, the only way your hand can be saved because you have... The oh, I should have played Justy Break. Um, the only way your hand can be saved because you have the worst hand possible is I should have played Justy Break. Oh shit, there goes Call of the Haunted, so playing Justy Break didn't matter. Never mind, Ju Justy Break would have done nothing. Um, the only way you could save me, sir, is by playing Destiny Draw. Oh, they're willing to race to the bottom. Interesting. That's a weird combo, but it works. Oh my god! Are you the worst person ever? Cooper, why don't you just take Malicious out of the deck? He can't have Malicious out of the deck! It's a card you can't edit out! Don't you get it, you crustaceous cheapskates? We're gonna lose! <laughs> I'm not taking the L on this one. This one's not my fault. I- I- no. Not my fault, not my deck's fault. 100% Aster Phoenix. 100% Aster. It's technically not even his fault, because that is just... The most unlucky hand ever. You know what? Let's fight Jules. Jules, 1v1 me. We know your deck was the most powerful back in the olden days, but now it's just good. Um, I can't believe what I just saw. I, I don't want to accept that L. That L, like, literally triple malicious 
into a dasher. What do you want from me, video game? What do you want from me? I know you think it's funny, but go to hell. Alright, let's see, Jules. Let's see what you got. Uh, this is an interesting hand. Well, I don't think she could beat Gene Wart Warwolf, so I'm just gonna summon it and just wait patiently. Yeah, I think this card beats everything she tries to normal summon. And she agrees, so she's going to Snatch Steal. And that's worth a TT, as I do not like Pyramid Turtle. So Snatch Steal is busted on the first turn, but at least we got rid of it early. As long as she can't recover that card, we're good. Um, I could call the Haunted. It's not necessary, though. I want to use that for Battle Phase. Uh, Vorse Raider or Archfiend? Let's go Vorse Raider. He's plenty strong. Got your own TT? No? Okay. Well, I attack you then for 19. Not yet, Call of the Haunted. Not yet. Alright. Well, she doesn't seem to be stopping me, so unless that card is an MST or a Dust Tornado, she's going down. Yep, here's another 2,000 damage. And I doubt there's anything you can do about it, Jules. In fact, I, I would say this duel's over. Bet your ass are gonna set, and I know Jules has annoying sets, so I need to be careful. Um, I'm going to get rid of, let's say, Mad Dog of Darkness. And we're gonna do this for safety reasons. We can't win the duel this turn anyway, so... We're just gonna make sure that, uh, he can have my dog. It was... Ah, it was another Pyramid Turtle. Damn, that kind of sucks for us, actually. Alright. That does kind of suck. Because now if she beats it by battle knowing what it is, we're gonna be in trouble. Let's just hope that doesn't happen. If it does happen, oh no. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. That was really nice of you. Alright, now I, uh... I uh, do not have game still. Hmm. If I go oh, if I go in, I technically have game. What what are the odds she drew three pyramid turtles? I know we just saw triple malicious, but what are the odds? I'm going for game. I attack with Gene. Son of a bitch. Well, that's on me. I gotta take that. I would not have won if I had used creature sweet seizure, but. At least I would have stopped this from happening. Actually, no, I just gained a Vampire Lord. This is totally fine. I am fine with this. Monster card? Take it. I don't care. I would just hit my, uh... Hit my Summon Skull for all I care. Ooh, Cardo Seto. Well, that is actually a little worrying. Um, I summoned Sonic Bird to bait out any possible spells or traps. She knows that I don't even need a Creature Seizure to win the duel right now. No. Alright, Advanced Ritual Art is mine. I would love to have her card, but I'm a little worried about Vampire Lord's effect. Because if she does have a brand new trap that wants Vampire Lord on my side of the field, things can go bad. Okay, I will use Secrets of Gallant. Let's see if it actually works. Gene Warped is ready. Ah, she has Book of Moon. She was saving that for the last moment. And technically, that did save her, so we'll see. I do get to keep a Vampire Lord, though, so I'm pretty happy. And that did save her life from losing this duel. So I'm going to go for... Honestly, I don't know what's more... Let's go Spell Card. I think Spells are more dangerous. Yeah, Smashing Ground would have destroyed it. We don't want to see Smashing Ground, that's for sure. Alright, Jules, you got 600 life points left, and I'm a little tired of you. I know my Gene Warped is kind of weak, but your Vampire Lord is very strong. That was the fastest MST I've ever seen, but that doesn't work on Gene Warped because they're face down now. That Call of the Haunted you've been saving for quite a while. Are you going to crash while you still have the chance? No. Well, then you just lost the duel. Your only hope was to crash and then summon something bigger. But since you didn't do that, death is yours. I will grant you death by your own monster. Look at that. See, our deck is just fine. We can beat people like Jules. We just shouldn't team up with that Aster Phoenix character. He he ain't so good at dual monsters. He, he's got a lot of troubles. I'm not trying to judge the man. I know he's had a... I don't, I don't think he's even had a hard life. I don't know what he's doing. Alright, let's... Uh, oh, I thought it was the end of the night. Whoops. Let me end the day. I'm a little tired. I think he's a little tired too. Sorry for keeping you up late, sir. It's Wednesday. Uh-oh. 
Cooper, someone on the island said they saw Sartorius. Let's go together, straight to the Society of Light. Okay, I'm down. We are going to go straight to the Society of Light with our uh, normal monster deck. I'm sure that'll work. And the Society of Light is at the Obelis Blue Dorm for some reason. Again? You two? What do you want, Aster? Take me to Sartorius. Where is he? Boy, don't we get all fiery when we want to, or when we're talking about Sartorius? I saved you time and time again, and to do it again, I'll get rid of any obstacle in my way. That's it. You two again? Oh my gosh! Come here. I guess I never get to fight you in the normal series, so I guess I, I am happy to see you two. I'm just tired of you. Come here. They couldn't add Lorenzo. They couldn't add... I'm trying to think of actual fun Society of Light characters. Um, there's not that many. <laughs> the other ones do boring decks, honestly. Stall decks and the like. Alright, this to hand sucks. That could save it. Yeah, that sort of saved it. Eh, his trap choice wasn't the best, not the worst either. I would have liked Raigeki Break for her trap cards, but let's just assume that's not going to be an issue. Let's go ahead and use Monju. Monju, you know which monster I want. You know who I want. I want my Lycanthorpe. It's time to show you guys why we have a fake moon deck. Um, the odds of them having Mirror Force on the first turn are low, even though we got it on the first turn. I highly doubt they got it on the first turn, so I'm willing to go all in. I don't think they can do anything about it. Our monsters are too powerful. I attack for 24. I was right. Is this even going to be a duel or did we just wreck them? Because not only that, we get 200 burns, so technically 2600 damage. Then we go for 16. Then we go for 14. And finally, we go for nothing else. We have everything we need. I'm not setting TT as my partner Aster would somehow mess things up with it. You set one monster, which I, you know, I can't stop you. Um, Aster, you could Heavy Storm if you want. I'm not even going to judge, but... Well, that's... Wow, he uses Phantom Beast? What the hell? Uh, luckily, we still win. All he has to do is call the Haunted for game. And Aster Phoenix refuses to win. Granted, they might have an MST, and that might be the real reason why, but still. And because of that, they got Snatch Steel. And we're going to Mirror Force my own monster, aren't we? All right. Why not? Triple Trap. Now I really do wish he used Heavy Storm. Well, let's find out if he did. they did have MST. That's actually very interesting to me. Yeah, they did. So that's why he didn't go for it. He knew it wouldn't work. All right. On Chain, I activate Raigeki Break. We're going to throw away Blazing Impachi. We're going to destroy this card. And they have Twister, which doesn't do anything now that I think about it. You paid 500 life points for nothing. Then I chain and call the Haunted, and I play Chain Strike. Obviously, that's not going to happen, but it's crazy what's happening. I summon Summon Skull for game. I hope you had a lot of fun with this chain. All right. Well, I'm just going to go for 25. And you two are a joke. On turn seven, you're done. No, you lost. If you lose, you lose. We don't want to duel you anymore. Oh, we lost again. No one knows where he is. Uh, Sartorius, I'll save you. Wait, he's not here? Then where the hell is... No, actually, though, where... Why were we even there if he wasn't there? Why'd you make me fight the same people? Why, wh where's the mix-up? Where's the intrigue? Alright, apparently people are in class right now. Let's see who didn't make it in time. Did anyone, like, stop at the main gate because they just didn't make it to class in time? And now they're contemplating going home? I've done that sometimes. Yeah. I've done that. Uh, let's go to... I don't know. Where do we not go very often? The beach? I think I stopped going to the beach. No, I still go. I go everywhere, actually. I'm, I'm pretty good at going places. I just wanted to look at this nice water animation. 
That's nice. All right, nobody is out and about when class is in session. And hell, we have trouble finding people when class isn't in session. We're gonna try the girls' dorm. The girls' dorm is our best bet. Son of a bitch, nobody's ever at the girls' dorm. What the hell? It's like this place is off limits or something. There we go. Michael with Andre. I already fought them recently. Okay, what about you guys? Kadeem with uh, Deloge. I think Deloge was on the list. Yeah, if I remember correctly, Deloge was on the list. I might be wrong about that, but something about him is giving me bad vibes. Let's go to class. I never. That's one place I never go. I go. I, I don't go to class anymore. All right, brute power versus dual lesson. I fought dual lesson plenty of times. The labyrinth versus. Uh, no, I already fought them. Gotta mix it up, game. Where are the other people? Oh, I haven't fought Bivin in a minute. <laughs> Not since the Obelisk Blue tournaments. Yeah, let's have a tag duel. I know Aster Phoenix is hard to work with, but at the end of the day, as long as uh, he gets an okay monster or okay back row, we'll be fine. He just needs to not break like he does sometimes. Especially when I'm going fourth. If I'm going fourth and he breaks, it's just the worst case scenario. But we'll see how he reacts. Alright, anything they do ends in defeat. I like your confidence. We started with the chance to get a ritual spell or monster, most likely spell. He has Heavy Storm and Rhoda. Thank God for Rhoda. Holy crap, thank God for Rhoda. DD Assailant is decently safe. You're not going to Heavy Storm, which is understandable. There's only one card. And we can't beat Bivens Turtles. Understandable as well. Set those two traps, and he's trusting me to beat the turtle, even though I'm going to struggle to do so as well. That's a lot of traps we're going to need to deal with. That is an issue. That I take issue with. We got a problem here. What is this card? I got rid of Destiny for board. That's great. So our deck is pretty much only beater monsters. So we just got countered slightly. Not completely, but slightly. We're going to go ahead and let's... Uh, I think now I have to... I have to search for a monster, not the ritual spell. I could also just go for this one if I really think I want to. No, let's go for Lycanthorpe. Yeah. Because I can't draw this naturally anymore. I have to do it this way. Um, even with all those cards in the grave, none of them have more than 2,500. Yeah. 2,000 defense is actually pretty freaking solid. But we trust Manju. Manju can handle most things. Um, Astro Phoenix, most of your monsters suck, so as long as you don't draw tributes, except, yeah, as long as you don't draw tributes, we're good. Yeah, Command Knight, perfect. Smashing Ground, perfect. Command Knight Summon, yes. Call the Haunted when necessary. Oh, this guy drew double turtles. That's, yep, that is a thing. Now, no matter what, my next draw is most likely going to get popped. There's nothing I can do about that. Kel Beck is annoying. Threatening Roar saves Monju, I guess. I... Sure, that is a play, technically. Luster Dragon's dead. We already knew we were going to lose most likely anything we drew. I don't think I have any warriors in the grave, so this is oh, all we have. Yeah, we do have one. Never mind. All right, let's try this aggressively before anything else. I just want to see if uh, they do anything about it. Okay, they didn't do anything about it, so we're going to try and get rid of that turtle. The turtle's a problem. We got rid of the turtle. Now we're going to get rid of Kelbeck. We haven't used a normal summon, so it's fine. And then we're just going to attack with Manju. Alright, we're going to go to main phase 2. And we're going to summon Command Knight. Just to make sure that this monster is strong. They're probably still going to go after Manju, but we don't need it. Uh, what is that for? Thank you, I guess? Although I probably don't want Rota. MST is really nice, though. That was awesome. All right, now we could start drawing monsters again. So, what do you want to do, Aster? Now that we could... Oh, you didn't draw a monster. Ah! Uh, Pyramid Turtle turns into Pyramid Turtle turns into Pyramid Turtle. He's just a turtle deck, so don't expect any powerful zombies. It's just annoying. Oh, he does run Kickman, at least. I gotta give him that much credit. That's a non-turtle he was willing to run. And you're on the list. Okay, Lily's on the list. I drew the Rota, but I do run a warrior. Thank God. All right, the only warrior I run happens to be my ritual. That's hilarious. Um, Messenger of Peace screws over a lot of our plays. 
we can at least do this. But everything else is useless. I mean, this monster, my ritual monster might be okay. Oh, Aster, you have... Oh, yeah, no, it's time. It's time to Heavy Storm, Aster. You know, you know it is. You feel it, right? In your heart. Throw away malicious while you're at it. Yes! Heavy Storm from Aster. Thank you, God. Also, that those sons of bitches. Did you see that? They had a freaking MST waiting for us to call the haunted. My second call the haunted. But I didn't play it because I knew he'd eventually Heavy Storm. Rhoda again. Rhoda's gonna get him a DD Assailant, which is what he already died. Malicious gets us Malicious, which is really good. Get DD Assailant onto the field, please. There we go, and start wrecking. He's gonna wreck him. Ooh, they summon Harold. That's weird. That's the last Pyramid Turtle, so that's gonna summon Kickman, most likely. And that's the end of you. There's no equip spells in the grave. Although I think you have to be Special Summon from... Yeah, no, it just says Special Summon. And yeah, you're done for, Lily. You already played Messenger of Peace. Yeah, I knew it. She was like, no, that was literally all I had was Messenger of Peace. Oh, there's nothing in the grave. He actually revived everything. We have enough damage. We have enough. Command Knight's buffing other monsters. That has to be enough. I know Malicious sucks, but it's even getting buffed to be a decent monster. It's a Silver Fang now. All right. Yep. Yep. That'll do. Thank God. Lily did have Messenger of Peace, but we got past her either way. Thanks to my buddy, Aster. He stepped up. I appreciate that, Aster Phoenix. I really do. And we earned the money we needed. So that means we can go to bed. And tomorrow, we will be going to uh, shop. Let's go. I mean today, but I mean Thursday. Yes. Hey, Cooper. You ready? Let's go. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go, buddy. Let's go shopping, that is. Alright, so we're gonna go to the store. We're gonna hope Dorothy is the one selling cards today. The answer is she is not, so we're not gonna be able to buy some of the stuff I was hoping for, which is fine. Because we are we need more normal monster stuff. We didn't get anything. We're only at 90% and I bought three boxes of this. You know what? Give me another box. You keep robbing me, but I'm gonna let you do it. Uh the wind pack, I'm fine. I don't need more wind. Yeah, we don't need any of that. I guess... Let's see what we have the least percentage on. This is the one we have the least percentage on. So, we have the best chance of getting new cards if I just do this. And hopefully those new cards are necessary. Okay, I spent $3,750. Non-spellcasting area is actually really good for us. That works for normal monster decks. That's a busted card, but I wouldn't want to run it. But it works. It's a good combo with non-spellcasting area. I could run it, technically. But it wouldn't be in a ritual normal monster deck. It'd be in a different kind. Alright, chain energy does its job. More level limit area, uh, uh, level limit area bees. Okay. That's kind of crazy that we got two. I'm pretty sure... I know, it's probably not limited. This is back when they were busted. Stumbling exists. Maybe I'll just, That's what I'll do. I'll make the worst deck known to man. Ancient Rules. That's a good card, actually. That is a good card that I'm happy to get. Maybe that's one of the cards I was missing. I do run Symbols of Duty. That card is kind of nice. I like reborning my opponent's monsters. Is there anything else you can give me that has a little more oomph to it? Cosmo Queen's cool and all, but I think I already have plenty. Spiral Serpent's a little different, you know, still a cool monster. I already have Symbols of Duty, thank you. Let's uh, try to spice things up a bit. No, I, I'm good, let's try something else. I'm talking about, like, Heart of the Underdog. Does this pack really not have it? Or am I just the most unlucky guy in the world? It's starting to break my heart, you know that? Summoner's Art, that's actually a good card too. Holy crap. We're starting to get the good stuff. I can't believe we haven't gotten this good stuff yet. Hmm. You know, I would like some copies of the good stuff. I don't... If we're going to get copies of stuff, it might as well be the stuff we could actually use. I'm sorry to think you're not going to give me copies of things I could actually use. Well, I like Summon Skull, but I think I already have plenty. Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, rarity-wise, we got we have too many of these. You only needed one. I already had it. Birthright's done. We did get Summoner's Art, which, thank God, that's new at least. Uh, and it is a good card. But we only got one. And we got Ancient Rules. Same thing. It's really good. They combo well together. But we only got one. 
and that's that's about that's the oh and we got spiral yeah I, I did notice spiral serpent was new um so we got three new cards none of them heart of the underdog and honestly it was one bronze new one silver new one gold new and we didn't get a single new card from this pack that was 90 percent this pack's at 95 now thank god for that but we bought four boxes four boxes for 95 percent and no copies of the good stuff that that's that's really rough and some of that good stuff is super rare it's not even ultra Eh, whatever. Guys, that is going to be it for this episode. I want to thank you all for watching. If you're enjoying this series, I ask you to please remember to like and subscribe. I did have fun taking down the Society of Light, but honestly, I would just want them to go away. I want Aster Phoenix to be happy now, because then maybe he'll build a good deck. <laughs>